Now, around 2 million people living in northern Kenya are facing severe drought, with many at risk for starvation. According to the United Nations, more than 465,000 children under five are malnourished. And it is the same story for over 93,000 pregnant and breastfeeding women. This is the second consecutive season in northern Kenya, a semi-arid part of the country, in which there was not enough rainfall, unlike the more fertile and greener south. With no rains and a severe drought, food prices are spiking in the African nation. Agencies show a hike of 16% in food prices. As per the United Nations Wild Food Program, the lack of rain means 2.4 million people will struggle to find enough to eat by November. The situation, as you can see, is very dire. <laughs> Poor rains along with climate change are to be blamed for North Kenya's crisis. Data from the U.S. government shows that temperatures in northern Kenya have climbed by 0.34 degrees Celsius per decade from 1985 to 2015. It also says that they are expected to climb further, with heat waves in the coming five decades likely to increase in length by between 9 and 30 days, making it harder to grow crops or keep livestock as more water evaporates. Domestic livestock and wild animals have also succumbed to thirst and hunger. Those living in the region say that the sight of dead animals has become common. The past um, droughts were largely predictable. We had longer cycles of uh, five to ten years, and this meant that uh, that uh, the, the pasture and what bodies um, could regenerate uh, very quickly, and therefore the impacts were less, and pastoralists could uh, survive this due to the quick regeneration. This is no longer the case. Um, we are seeing um, uh, droughts occurring every two years, sometimes every year. For people living in North Kenya, livestock remains the primary source of savings and a drought can potentially drain their life's earnings. 